we live in an imperfect world, but we can't let that distract us. We've got work we've got to do. We have to take care of our own minds, because nobody else can take care of our mind for us. When greed, aversion, and delusion arise in the mind, we're the ones who have to deal with it. No one else can erase them. No one else can give us a magic pill that makes them suddenly go away. So we're working on perfecting ourselves, but we have to put up with the fact that the world around us is not perfect. This doesn't mean that we don't try to change it in a positive way if we can, but you have to weigh your priorities. <laughs> so the work of the world is never done. The work of the mind can be done. This is one of the main points of the Buddha's teachings. The way we create unnecessary suffering for ourselves can be ended. If we focus on the right path of practice, if we focus on solving the problem at its cause, which is in the mind, we can straighten things out inside. So when we talk about being patient and enduring, it doesn't mean we simply put up with things. It's more a question of not getting waylaid from our real purpose, our real desires, our real goal which is to take care of this part of the world that should be under our control. After all, the mind should have some control over its thoughts. But we learn to abandon control, or control it in ways that don't really lead to true, true happiness. So we've got to work on that. This is where our real work is. So as we endure the things in the world that can't be changed, we learn not to focus on them. We focus on the areas inside where we do have sources of strength. And you'd be surprised sometimes how much strength you can actually muster if you make up your mind that this is what you want to do. There's that passage in the canon where the Buddha talks about the grounds for laziness and the grounds for effort. And the external situations are the same. It's simply your attitude. The lazy monk says, oh, I was on a trip yesterday and I'm tired, so I better rest. The earnest monk says, yeah, I was on a trip yesterday, I didn't have the best opportunity to practice, but now I can, so I better practice while I can. Or if a monk has been sick, he says, well, I still have to rest up a little bit more, I won't push myself too hard. Whereas the earnest monk says, well, now I'm getting better, I could get worse again, so I better take advantage of the opportunity while I have it. So it's largely our attitude about the situation outside that's going to make the difference between whether we can find ways to practice or create obstacles for ourselves. So learn patience for things outside. Learn some powers of endurance. Our culture doesn't encourage them, but it's something that we need for our own well-being. And then be persistent in your effort to straighten out the problem inside. That's where the best work gets done.